tell us a little bit about what is discrete mathematics and what would a student what does it teach the student yeah so the discrete mathematics uh, the idea of discrete uh, in this comes from the, the fact that traditionally mathematics has talked about you know functions right so you have real numbers and real numbers as we know there is no gap right between any two real numbers there is another real number so you are talking about some something which varies as you increase time what happens to the distance or as you increase some supply what happens to the demand so these are continuous things so because the supply increases continuously or population increases continuously discrete is talking about separate objects so now i am asking you if i have uh, you know uh, some uh, 25 teachers and if i have uh, 17 courses and how many different ways can i allocate them right so you are talking about problems like this which involve uh, count you know separate items they are not continuous but some kind of uh, orderings reorderings matching and all that so this is where the idea of discrete mathematics comes a lot of computational problems are naturally discrete in nature because they are like we were talking about packing furniture in a truck you have some finite number of objects in your house right it's not that you have 1.3 beds or something like that so so discrete mathematics and understanding how i mean it sounds very childish but understanding how to count right how many different ways can you do this so that's really counting in a different sense not just counting 1 2 3 4 but enumerating systematically all different arrangements and making sure you have not missed out anything at the same time you have not duplicated anything so starting from there so enumerating counting properly making sure that or even counting the same thing in two different ways to make sure that you have not made a mistake then you have these ideas of graphs so graphs are objects where you take these so you take people for instance and you connect them if they are friends so people are ask these questions about social networks for instance right so if you have a social network where people are talking to each other they are somehow communicating then how far apart are any two random people right mm. will they find one person that they know in common will it take two hops right so these are questions by you looking at the social network graph where the graph the, the you have these people and they are connected by a link so how many links does it take to go from here to there so these graphs have a very important play, role to play so there are lots of abstract problems which you can formulate on graphs which when applied concretely give you a lot of practical answers so this is a slightly different style of mathematics from the traditional mathematics where you are talking about sin cos and you know or uh, x to the 5 and so on so that's why people sort of i think disconnect it in some sense from mathematics as a whole and call it a separate thing but i think it's as intuitive and possibly more intuitive for at least for school level students to appreciate and it definitely gives you a much uh, stronger grounding when you get to computing so i think both are important uh, it's not that one is less or more important than the other but this is of course more relevant i would say for people who are studying computing as a subject 